Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kyra J. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning because you're loyal and you like me, welcome back and thank you so much for tuning into another one of my videos. So I am so excited to be filming this video for you guys today. I just picked up the new Huda Beauty palette, the Naughty Nude, and I am so excited to be reviewing that for you guys. I've actually never bought any of the Huda Beauty um, products, like none of them, so this will kind of be like a first impression of the palette and just kind of first impression of the brand in itself. So I'm really, really excited. So here's what it looks like. It is so super cute just looking at the packaging. It's funny because I did not know at first that this was called Naughty Nude. Um, I just saw the Naughty when I first saw the palette. I actually went to Sephora looking for a new palette and saw this one and wanted to, um, I thought this would be great to do a review on, um, but it says Naughty or Nude in the back. It's really cute. I love the, it's just so pretty to me. So this palette retails for 70 or $67 which is pretty expensive. Um, with taxes added, you're gonna be spending about 71 to $72, which in my opinion is a little bold um, to price the palette that, at that price. Um, that's definitely like a luxury price. Um, so I really hope that, or I guess we'll see if the quality of the palette is luxury as well. Okay, so I zoomed in so you guys can see the palette better. This palette is absolutely stunning. It's so intriguing, it's so eye-catching. So this palette comes with 18 colors, eight of them are matte, four of them are this nice marble shade right here, and then five are metallic, and then there's this one glossy hybrid that they called it. Um, or at least that's what they called it on Sephora right here and we're gonna get into this one as well because I've seen a lot of different thoughts and opinions about this one but right off the bat the palette is so absolutely stunning in my opinion and um, I am an eyeshadow girl you know I love eyeshadow more than anything when it comes to makeup so when I'm looking at a new palette I'm always looking at the matte shades that they have because that lets me know you know what kind of use I can get out of the palette how many different kind of looks I can get um, from it and when I'm looking at these matte shades right here, I am pleasantly impressed with them. I really do like these um, nice chocolate shades right here. Um, that definitely lets me know that not only can I get a really nice sexy look from this palette, but I can also use it on darker complexions, which I think is a great thing. Um, so I'm really happy with the transition color um, selection. And the palette also comes with four marble colors, which I, again, like I said, is very, very different. I've never seen a palette do that. It's definitely really, really intriguing, like I said, and very eye-catching. I'm assuming with these shades, the idea is to kind of swirl your brush around in them and you get whatever shade that these colors make, which um, I think is a really cool idea. I personally like to know what kind of color I'm getting right off the bat. Like I like to see it and whatever color I'm looking at is what I'm going to get. So that's not, not, so that's not necessarily the case here, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I think it does make the palette really different. Um, and if anything, what I'm assuming you can also do is kind of like dip into like any corner of the marble and get a specific color if you want it to. So I think that's an option as well. Now I do think in my personal opinion it was, you know, definitely for the aesthetic, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I definitely think that it was something to catch the attention of consumers, which it definitely did because it definitely caught my attention. And then we have these really pretty metallic shades. We have some, um, we have this gold one, we have a nice plum, which is really nice for the holiday. Um, we have some pink and some really subtle and nude-like uh, metallics. So it's really nice. I like the selection because you can definitely wear these every day and have them just be really simple, nice looks. Okay, so let's move on to this color right here. I've heard so many different opinions about this shade right here. It's very different and you almost, when you open the palette, you don't really know what it is. Um, I've seen people say that it's a gloss to make sure your eyelids glossy. And I've heard some say that when you put it on top of your eyeshadow, it can take away from the color. I've seen a lot of different um, opinions about this. So it looks like, it's like, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it, swatch it. Oh, wow, okay. So I'm like rubbing it around, and I guess the beads are like a shimmer. Looks like it's like balls of like shimmery eyeshadow in like a Vaseline kind of texture. And when you swirl it around, you get this. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys actually so you guys can see. This is what it looks like. I'm not, I mean, 
this actually I'm not gonna lie to you I think this would be really pretty on the lid if you did want more of like a glossy eye I'm not sure if that's exactly what um, the idea behind this was, but that's what I'm going to assume it is for. So now that I've talked a little bit about the palette, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes with said palette, and we're gonna see how this looks on my skin. Okay, so I primed my eye, and I'm only gonna do one eye on camera. I'm actually gonna do the other one for my Instagram video, so make sure to follow me. So for my first transition color, I'm gonna go into this color right here called Rough. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M441 to apply it. Oh, that's really pretty. It definitely comes on, it definitely um, goes on the lid differently than I thought it would. Like it's definitely, it looks more like a taupe color um, on the palette, but it's transitioning as kind of like, it's giving me more, more like, tannish vibes with a little like blush to it for my next transition shade I'm gonna go into this color naughty it's really giving me like a nice cocoa brown so I'm gonna use that next I'm going to place that in my outer corner ooh very cocoa like I love and the pigmentation is really, really nice. Okay, just gonna blend that. And excuse my brush, it's stained for whatever reason, so this like pinkish red color will not come out. <laughs> and that all in there. Okay, so these eyeshadows are blending really, really well. I am not mad at that at all. Wow. Wow, these blended very, very nicely. Yes, absolutely stunning. For my last color, I'm gonna go into Spicy. It's this nice, it's really, really rich, um, dark chocolate color. Um, we'll see how it looks on the lid, though. And that last brush was my M433, and now I'm taking my M506 to apply it. And this, I'm gonna pop directly in my outer corner. That is stunning. I'm going to slightly blend it forward. Now I'm gonna take a bigger brush to blend it out. Okay. Very, very nice. I have no idea why I didn't use the mirror on the palette to begin with. <laughs> I'm not used to having my palettes have mirrors on them, so I'll use that now. Yeah, that is really stinking gorgeous. Okay. So now for my lid, I'm gonna go into this color right here. You can tell I already kind of swatched it. This one is called Flower Power. I'm getting a lot of fallout actually, as you can see, when I kind of like wiped it. Um, to get it on my brush. I did have some fallout, so just something I noticed. Oh, this is stunning. So I have a whole bunch of fallout on my face, and that's my fault because I definitely didn't put on my eyeshadow shield and I smeared it in, so but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner and my lashes, and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, you guys, so we're back with the finished look, and I think this look came out so absolutely beautiful. So I think that this palette was really good, minus the fallout, which I kind of think is my fault because I feel like I was really, really heavy-handed with those chrome, color, chrome colors. Um, but other than that, the colors were really, really pretty. I love the formula. They're very blendable and pigmented. Um, so I definitely think that there's a lot of quality in the eyeshadow formula. Um, do I think that that equates to the price that the palette is marketed for? Probably not. I think that they could have dialed back on the price. Um, but I do think that it's a very, very beautiful palette. Um, I'm very happy that I have it in my collection now. I hope this video was informative for you if you're interested in buying this palette or if you're interested in just buying it for someone else for the holiday season, adding a new nude collect or nude palette to your collection. I personally do not have any other nude palettes. This would be my first. And so I am glad that I have it in my collection. I have no regrets about purchasing this. Again, I think that the price 
was a little pricey but again I have no regrets and I am happy I have it I also want to hear what your thoughts are on the palette um, if you guys have similar views to mine or opposing views to mine I definitely want to hear them put them in the comment section down below and yeah again I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye